All right, it's gonna be a little recipe with the tugboat. This is not the correct way to do it. This is my way to do it. So let's uh, let's get into it. So today we are gonna make some chili a la tugboat. Uh, the meat we're gonna use is uh, some nice medium ground beef and some naturally smoked bacon. Can see they're ready to be cooked here just have to turn it out maybe take it out of the plastic i suppose and uh to that we're gonna add our tomato elements so i prefer to go with whole tomatoes uh, just a personal thing when i was younger i went to a cannery somewhere in america and uh saw how they're fresh from the field in 15 minutes they're in the can so can't get it quicker than that then we've got some hunts thick and rich because uh you know that's awesome and uh this little bugger was a real pest to find had to go to two stores to find tomato paste that seems weird to me but yeah that's going to add a little bit of body and a, a little more depth of flavor so we have our meat we have part of our sauce and then we have some other good stuff here so some dark reds some black beans and then, you know, mix it up. Nice, uh, diverse mix of six different beans. Um, thought about chickpeas too, but this is gonna be a pretty thick, thick one uh, to begin with. So the other stuff we're gonna use is the seasonings. So some olive oil, got some crushed chilies, just barely any ground cumin, just to say I put it in. I hate onions, so I use onion salt. Again, not the right way to do it. That's my way to do it. Chili powder, uh, the star of the show here. Last time I put in way too much and I'm gonna try and outdo myself this time. And then I've got this terrible salt that my parents bought me about 10 years ago that I- And just some cracked black pepper from the old pepper mill. Just going ahead and uh doing some bacon in the pan. I'm not really interested in the bacon so much as the bacon grease. I'm gonna use that for some stages further down the line, but never hurts to put a little bit of bacon in your meal. Come on, flatten out now, get in there. always important to make sure that you drain and rinse your beans um, usually what I like to do is just keep rinsing them until the water runs as clear as possible so you can see me getting into the later stages here still a little bit of coloration but almost there At this stage, uh, it's browning off the meat, and uh, I did season it with a little bit of cumin, uh, some onion, salt, and just a few twists of cracked black pepper. And when it's done, dump it in the Instant Pot for later use. What's happening here is just mashing the tomatoes down so they cook a little more evenly and uh, dissolve a little quicker. Once they're mashed, just keep them over medium heat, keep stirring them up and get rid of some of that excess moisture. It smells good. Once you have it down to that consistency, you can dump it in the Instant Pot for later use. If you forget to buy celery, you can use a pepper. Check out these knife skills.
got the tomato. Delicious start already. We have this freshly cut up pepper. That we're just gonna uncinematically sweep into the bowl. Okay, that's in. We've got our six bean medley, totally rinsed. Dump. You're in. I did the flapper can on these ones. But on the tomato sauces and tomatoes, I did the other method where you cut the top completely off. Fun, fun fact, I guess. That's in. Kidney beans. Rinsed. Black beans painstakingly rinsed. Okay. Now we're gonna add a buttload of red pepper flakes to that. Cause I like it a little spicy. We added some onion salt to the meat already and some cumin, but let's uh, go ahead and onion salt this. Got that. Ground cumin, we'll just put a touch more just to make it a little more Southwest. And then we've got our star, the chili powder. Let's get weird with it. There's a lot in here, we'll put a lot. Well, didn't need that boulder, but then we'll add a little oil to keep stuff from trying to stick to the bottom. And now the part that all you AMSR people have been waiting for. It is gonna be a thick, thick chili. In fact, I may have to add a little stock to this. You get down with the thickness? I usually put celery instead of a pepper, but I forgot to buy it. some leftover chicken stock because I have it and I can. It fell right. And then about 50 twists of So I've had this thing just keeping warm for the last little while. Uh, we'll cancel that off. Let's put it to slow cook. Let's advance to six hours and uh, see you in a while. Oh yeah, I forgot to add the bacon earlier. Oh wow, that smells good. Holy smokes. Fortuitously for me, I had some leftover potato wedges from the previous night, so I warmed those up with a mug of water in the microwave, of course, and uh, divided those out. This will be my base to uh, support the chili, and uh, we'll add a little bit of cheese and have a very hearty, very, very tasty meal. The 
chili turned out great. A little bit spicy, but perfect. Finished it all and even went back for another bowl. Good stuff.